Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the George Foreman Individual Grill. I've had the regular full-size George Foreman Grill for about 15 years and I've gotten a lot of use out of it and obviously it's very well made if it lasted 15 years but that was kinda of pricey and it's very large and very heavy and a bit cumbersome to remove those heavy plates and wash them and just kind kind of a pain but I really did enjoy it I still have it <laughs> um, but I saw this at Walmart one day and I thought oh wow that could be really great because sometimes I just want to cook a burger for myself and I'm not making multiple burgers and uh, so I thought I would give it a shot and I love it I paid fifteen dollars for this at Walmart but I was just on the website looking at the pictures and information and stuff you know doing like research for the video and I saw that it was listed as nine ninety nine so I think there's been a price drop because um, it didn't say sale or anything like that so I think the regular price of it now is $9.99 which is such a steal because I have used this every single day since I bought it and this is what it looks like it's very simple compared to the original George Foreman grill um, there's really not much to it as far as like how you run it there's two buttons up here this is the power button this is the preheat button all you do to turn it on is plug it in it's really that simple and then after you plug it in you wait for the green light to come on and that tells you that it's preheated and on the inside you have copper infused plates these plates are not removable like the ones are on the original George Foreman grill um, so what I do to clean this is I just set this like on the edge of the sink and then I just take a hot soapy sponge you know the kind that have like the um, non-stick coating safe it has like a scrubby on one side and a sponge on the other I just take some you know saturate that with hot soapy water and just clean this until it's clean and then rinse it but you cannot immerse this whole thing in water so you just have to be kinda of careful that you don't do that so then I just turn it around and do the other side and the cleanup on this is very simple so because there is no on and off button there's no temperature control on here the way you determine how long you cook something is just by the time so if I'm cooking a hamburger or a turkey burger it takes five minutes the turkey burger comes out perfect um, you know how sometimes when you cook turkey burger you might get a little paranoid about whether it's cooked or not and then you cook it for too long and then it dries out well five minutes on this thing is perfect and it won't be dry but it will be cooked all the way through and same thing with the hamburger of course it depends on how you like your meat when I cook a hamburger on this I cook it for five minutes and it comes out perfect I like my hamburgers with just a hint of pink inside um, and to me that's perfect so you can adjust the time accordingly and I noticed that on the box it says um, where did I see that um, here it is it says individual grill and panini so I guess you can make paninis with these two I'm not really into paninis so I don't do that but you can if you want to it says fast even cooking advanced George tough nonstick coating removes 42 percent of fat um, and the way that it does that is they give you this little drip pan so you just put this long side right in front of the grill underneath and then the the fat drains right off into this 
And this is dishwasher safe, so you can put this part in the dishwasher if you want to. Because, you know, it does get kind of um, gross because there's fat dripping in there. So because it's so greasy, it's, it's a little bit difficult to clean, but it's really no big deal. I don't use my dishwasher. I have a dishwasher, but I never use it because to me it's just easier to wash things by hand and then I'm not using all that water and electricity because I can do like all the dishes from a meal just like that. So I never use my dishwasher. But if I'm just telling you that you can stick this in the dishwasher if you want to. But the plates on this are not removable so those you will have to do by hand and do not immerse this whole thing in water. Just be careful that you don't, um, you know, dip the whole thing in water. When I clean this, um, I just, after I wipe those plates, I just rinse, rinse it a little bit with water, but I don't, I try not to get too much on there. Um, it does come with an instruction booklet. And this is very helpful because, you know, aside from giving you the instructions, um, it has a chart in here that tells you how long to cook things because, you know, if you had never used one of these before, you would have no idea. So that's, that's really nice. So far, I've cooked hamburgers and turkey burgers. But that's it. But I definitely want to try out some of these other things. Um, it says you can cook a chicken breast, hot dogs, salmon steaks and fillets, lean boneless steak, New York strip, sirloin or tenderloin. Um, you can grill vegetables on here. But then in the comment section they give you little tips and tricks to um, make it come out even better. Like, for example, with the vegetables, they suggest that you brush or toss with a little oil before grilling the vegetables to keep them from drying out. And the oil also helps keep seasonings on the vegetables if you wanted to pre-season them. So that's nice. And then if you go further into the book, there are a couple of recipes. There's one for buffalo turkey burgers, and then there's one for spicy bean black spicy black bean burgers. Uh, that one in particular sounds really delicious. Um, it's got black beans, hot sauce, cayenne pepper, egg, breadcrumbs, chopped onion, diced red bell pepper, shredded carrots, hamburger buns, guacamole dip, lettuce, tomato, and red onion. That, that sounds really good, but it also sounds like it could be a lot of work. <laughs> So I think what I might do is just buy a box of frozen black bean burgers. <laughs> then I can just take one out of the box and slap it on the George Foreman grill. But putting guacamole on top, mmm, that sounds interesting. I've never done that before with a burger. And I think with the black beans, that would be really good. I was just perusing through this uh, instruction booklet and came across a couple of things that would be really important that I wanted to mention. Uh, do not use any nonstick cooking spray on these plates. It, it just um, it says aerosol cooking spray should not be used on nonstick surface. I think it might have something to do with what those plates are made out of. I don't know if it's because they're copper or what, but um, yeah, so don't you, because a lot of people will do that, but not on these, you can't. And then it also says, always use heat proof plastic, nylon, or wood utensils to avoid scratching nonstick surface of grill plates. Never use metal skewers, tongs, forks, or knives. Because I think the temptation when it's ready to open up the, the door and then stick a fork on there, um, yeah, the, the temptation to do that would be, you know, somebody would probably want to do that, but don't do that because if you get even a little scratch on this, it will ruin it and it's no longer safe to use. Uh, but if you've dealt with nonstick surfaces on pans, then you know what I'm talking about because um, you don't want to expose the metal underneath. That's very dangerous. 
So I think that is it, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.